Protesters taking to the streets of Hong Kong despite police denying permission for the anti-government rallies, which are now in their 10th week. Ellison Barber has more. John, for nearly nine weeks, anti-government protests have rocked Hong Kong. Protesters say if the government thinks they are going to give up, the government is sorely mistaken. On Saturday, protesters and police clashed well into the night in parts of the semi-autonomous territory. Police reportedly used tear gas with little to no warning after hundreds of protesters blocked an intersection. Thousands of protesters gathered at Hong Kong's international airport as well, most wearing black, some covering their faces, some handing out pamphlets, others holding signs. All of them seeming to protest peacefully in one of the busiest airports in the world. Our government still to this day didn't respond to our five demands. Yeah, after two million people marching out, they, they didn't um, respond positively. And to this day, they still didn't, didn't respond. So this is why we're still here. The Hong Kong protest began two months ago after the government tried to introduce legislation allowing defendants to be extradited to mainland China, where courts are controlled by the ruling Communist Party. The controversial bill was suspended, but the protests continue. Activists say they are about something bigger now. They want more freedom, greater democracy, and they want Hong Kong's top leader to resign. The central government in Beijing has condemned the protests and accused the United States of helping to fuel the unrest. The U.S. says those claims are ridiculous.